hello guys in my last video i showed you how to draft an off shoulder bodies so today i'm going to show you how to sew an off shoulder bodies this is a continuation of a video on how to sew a ball gown this particular style on the screen which i used for my birthday so i'm going to show you how to make the top for this dress so the first thing you're going to do is fold your fabric into and then place the pattern paper on the fabric make sure that the center front of the pattern paper matches with the center of the fabric because the center front is in half so after cutting it i was going to give you one piece after that i'm going to notch the bust point of the fabric that you just cut this will guide you when you are sewing the fabric together so this is what we have after cutting out the fabric i'm going to cut this in two places because i'm using it for the front of the fabric and also as the lining so i'm going to cut this in two places as you can see i didn't fold the fabric before cutting the center front because i'm already cutting it as one piece while i folded the fabric for cutting the side i'm also going to repeat this for the back of the pattern so i'm going to fold the fabric into two and then place the pattern on top and cut remember that this pattern represents just half of the bodies for the back so cutting it into size will give you the whole piece for the back so i'm going to cut this out twice because i'm also using the fabric for the lining of the bodies also don't forget to notch the bust point for the back pattern because this will help in joining the fabric together so that everything aligns well you're also going to cut this exact pattern on a soft wording or any wording of your choice i prefer to use a soft wording or medium hard wording for this that's if you want to pad the bustier but it's better to pad a bustier because that's what will give it its structure after cutting it in full the first time with the wording you're going to cut it again but this time the length will stop at the under bust and you're going to leave one inch or 1.5 inch at the top Doubling the cup will give it more structure and make it appear fuller. That way, you won't need to wear a bra before putting on the dress. After cutting everything out, I'm going to set that aside and then cut the loops for the back of the bodies and also cut out the rope that i'll be using to lace the bodies together for the loop i'm cutting out one inch which i'm going to fold and sew together and then for the rope i'm cutting out 1.5 inch after cutting everything out the next thing i'm going to do is iron the wording to the fabric so the wording usually have a shiny side and the other side that's not shiny the shiny side is where the glue is so for the first piece which we cut in full that is the one that did not stop at the under bust i'm going to iron that directly to the fabric facing the glue to the wrong side of the fabric and then we're going to glue the other wording which is the one that stopped at the under bust to the wording that we have attached to the fabric so the shiny side will be attached to the wording and then i'm going to iron that down as well this is what it looks like after ironing the wording to the fabric so i'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the pattern after that we are going to join everything together so it's advisable to pin everything down before joining i'm going to attach one side to the each side of the center front and then pin it down making sure that the place that you notched aligned and then i'm just going to sew everything together After joining the front piece together, this is what it's going to look like. As you can see, it's already firm and the cup is already defined. This is because of the wording that was attached to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and 
sewed lining together which is also the door face that was not padded and then i'm going to also join the back together After joining the front and back bodies, I'm going to sew the rope for lacing the bodies and also for fixing the loop. You can do this however you want to, so just make sure that what you do is neat. Then I'm going to go ahead and iron everything out. Ironing as you are sewing is very important because it will make the work appear neater and it will be easier to sew along the way. So make sure you iron everything out. And then for the cup, you have to use a breast ball to iron the cup so that it will come out. In a minute, you're going to see the difference between the side I ironed and the side I did not iron. It's very important to iron the cup for a posture before sewing everything together. So you're going to place the cup on top of the breast ball and iron it out like this, making sure that the point where it was joined together is flat. I'm also going to iron the back of the cup, making sure that you flatten out the points where you joined the fabrics together. After that, I'm going to iron the lace and the loop for the bodies and then proceed to joining everything together. So I'm going to start with the back. First, I'm going to join the armhole, the top and the bottom of the back bodies together. After sewing it together, I'm going to iron everything out. For the center of the back, I ironed it inside like this because this is where I'm going to attach the loop. So I folded in half inch and ironed it flat. And this is how it looks like. I used this starch spray to iron the center for this back to make sure that everything stays in place the next thing i'm going to do is attach the loop i'm leaving a space of 1.5 inch between each of the loop and also cutting 1.5 inch for the loop folding it and pinning this down before sewing it on my sewing machine This is how the back looks like after sewing the loop in place. So the next thing I'm going to do is to attach another fabric to one side of the back bodice. This part is optional but I want my back to be covered after lacing the bodies together. The measurement for this piece is 6 inches in width and I just made the length to align with the back bodies and then I'm going to sew that down and this is the finished look after joining everything together sorry i lost the footage of me joining this together at the last minute i decided to attach a strap to the blouse so that's what i'm going to fix now the length of the strap is what I suppressed when cutting the off shoulder, which is 4 inches on both sides equals 8 inches plus half inch for joining on both sides. So I cut out 9 inches and then I'm going to attach it to the line where the bust band is. If I had planned to attach a strap, I would have actually sewed the strap inside before joining the neckline together but i didn't plan on doing that so i'm just going to attach this strap like that because i'm almost done sewing the blouse already and i'm only doing this because i know i'm making this for myself if it was for a client i would have loosened everything and placed the strap inside so this is what it looks like after attaching the strap to the blouse next thing i'm going to do is sew the ruffles which i'm going to attach to the neckline of the blouse so i'm cutting out two and a half inches in width for the ruffles
to sew the ruffles together you're going to place one piece of net on the other and sew the middle together so i'm just going to gather the net with my hands like this i'm going to just push it lightly and then sew it down with my machine and repeat the process until i get the desired length that i want if the net that you are sewing together is exhausted you can just place another one on top of it and continue sewing it in place now that i'm done with that next thing i'm going to do is attach just the neckline of the blouse like this so i'm just going to run the stitch in the middle of the part where i gathered the net together after that it's time to cut the sleeve for this blouse so i cut out an 8 inch elastic which I'm going to be using for this sleeve. This 8 inch elastic is the measurement of my cap sleeve from this point to this point. So the next thing I'm going to do is cut out the sleeve. The length for the sleeve is 23 inches and the width is 25 inches. So I'm just going to cut this out. So guys, please make sure you pay attention to this part because it's a bit tricky. To sew the sleeve, we're going to first of all place two pieces of net together and then place the sleeve which we just cut out on top of the net before placing the elastic on top. It's the elastic that we're going to use to gather the net together by dragging the elastic while sewing. At the same time, I'm also going to gather a bit of the sleeve at the beginning while also dragging the elastic before sewing the middle together to get the ruffles I want. So guys, this is how the sleeve looks like after sewing it together. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other sleeve and then attach it to the bodice. So I'm just going to place the elastic here and then sew that point together and then do the same thing also for the back. Just fold it in like this and sew it together after that i'm done with the blouse and this is the final look i also have a tutorial on how i made this skirt on my channel thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe and like this video bye